Hey y'all, what's up? Today we are doing a glass baby animal collection because I have so many of these things and I need to find something useful to do with them because all they're doing is sitting on my dresser and collecting dust. <laughs> but I can't show them off to any of my friends because, like, no one else is into these, so if any of you are into collecting glass figurines, then I hope you enjoy. I hope you like my collection, and let's just get right into it because we have a fair amount to go through. is a stingray. He's a little thicker than the bluebirds were. This is one of the biggest ones I have actually. Um, I... No, actually I didn't. I'm a liar. I got this for Christmas probably like two years ago. Um, yeah, I love him. He's like a transparent blue and then he has like yellow and orange like Okay, sis, um, he has yellow and orange spots all over him, and then he has a little bit of a lighter blue tail, and then you can see his little mouth is, like, open. He looks like he's, like, eating or something. <laughs> um, this one is actually one of my favorites because I've always had a passion for marine life, um, and I've always just been fascinated with stingrays, and so, yeah. It was, it was a really meaningful one to me. My mom always buys me like, sorry, no, 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 okay. My mom always buys me like stingray stuff, stingray collectibles. I have like a little glass stingray ornament and I have an inflatable stingray that I take out on the pool. So this is just another piece of my stingray memorabilia collection. And I really love it. So, that's that one. And then, let's talk about my deer next. I have two different deer I have to show you today. So, we'll start with the smaller one first. This is actually one of the first glass animals I've got. Um, she's so freaking cute. She looks like... You can see her eyes really well there. Um, she looks just like Bambi. She's a little fawn, actually, because she has, like, white spots on her back. And I don't know. I just love this one. I love how thick the ears are. And, yeah, I don't know. I've seen a lot of deer out in the wild. <laughs> um, I live in an area that's very populated with deer. And so I see them all the time, like, on the side of the freeway, which is sad because I don't want to see them get run over. But anyway, I see them on the side of the freeway. I see them in people's front yards. And whenever I go on, like, hikes and stuff, I'll see them in the woods. So it's nice to have a little piece of my PNW nature in my room and in my glass animal collection. And then... The next one I have is this bug. I like to think that the fawn is the little kid, and then this is the dad. This is the daddy deer baby, so pretty much the same build as the other one. The ears are, like, a lot smaller than him. But then he has the antlers, and he has little black spots on him, and yeah. I just love my deer. I think they add, like, a cool dynamic to my collection because I don't have a lot of like forest animals in here so it's nice to have a little piece of that so 
far in just deciding which one to do next, I think I'm going to do this one, kind of keeping along with like the woodland creatures vibe. We have a little, I don't want to, we have, <laughs> we have a little bighorn sheep. I love bighorn sheep. I love mountain goats. So this is also one of my favorites as well. I don't know. I'm, I've just always felt like very connected to sheep and goats. Um, I've seen, I believe I've seen a mount, or not a mountain goat. What am I on? No, I've never seen a bighorn sheep in real life. I <laughs> really, really want to because I just feel like very connected to them in a way and I love how tenacious and almost like flexible they are to their environment like they live in such harsh terrain and yet they still manage to thrive and that's just like that's just amazing to me like that's how I want to be in my life so I love this one he's just all white and then he's got black hooves and he's got some nice horns going on so this is my next one definitely a, a favorite of mine as well and yeah that's about all I have to say for this one um the next ones we will do are my seals and walruses so I have two walruses to show you the first one is this one he's just like a tan in black and white color and he has little white tusks um <laughs> I don't know. I just think he's really cute. Like, I remember going to the zoo when I was younger and seeing the walruses and being like, dude, those things are powerful. And I feel like they're a very, like, underestimated animal. <laughs> um, because everyone just kind of thinks they're, like, dumb and don't know what they're doing, but, like, those fangs could rip you apart. <laughs> so that's my first walrus. The second walrus I have is a lot more colorful. He's just a clear, but then he has like green and red spots. And he also has long white tusks. And I just love these guys. I have a lot of like, kind of like sea dwellers. I know walruses aren't really, I mean, I guess they are, but they're like land and sea. I also like that about them. I like animals that can do both get you an animal that can do both so that's it for the walruses and then I have a seal I have a seal I like I said I live in the Pacific Northwest I'm very close to the ocean and so my family has a boat and we go out pretty often and you see seals a lot when you're out there and I just love them I love it they're like dogs of the water so <laughs> I just have this harbor seal kind of right here. He's white and brown or tan. Sorry, this is really bad. I'll put pictures somewhere up on the screen. Um, says what is going on? <laughs> he's white and tan. And he's got a cute little tail and a cute little face. We love a cute face, so. That's my seal. Wah, 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 she give me what I wanna, hee hee, hoo hoo, ha ha. <laughs> okay, um, the next one I have is actually a dog, it's not like a wild animal or anything like that. We have a little schnauzer right here, um, as you can see he has a really thick mustache, he's like really dark gray and almost like clear on the bottom. He's not showing up. Okay. Yeah, I I really love this one. I love dogs. I have a dog of my own. Her name is Lucy. And I used to have a dog and her name was Abby. And this figure <laughs> reminds me a lot of her just in like the coloring. And I feel like this particular animal kind of gives off that vibe that <laughs> my dog Abby had. I don't know. But yeah, I really like this one. And I also like that he doesn't really fit in to the vibe of my other creatures being like wild and all that, but 
he's there and he's not ashamed of it and you can really just admire him for that so <laughs> that's my schnauzer i don't really have a lot to say about him but i love him just the same my next one is a little sea turtle how could you not love a sea turtle the last figurine like i love turtles i'm saying that about all the animals all the animals i love I love every animal, so I'm gonna say it about everyone. <laughs> but I, yeah, they're one of my favorite animals. If I were to be reincarnated as an animal, I'd want to be a sea turtle because they live for like, well, not in this climate, but in like a climate before climate change, I'd want to be a sea turtle because they live for like a hundred years and they just swim around and like tropical locations and I love them but we gotta save them because climate change and the plastic and pollution problem is really just not helping them thrive and that's sad I guess so buy a reusable straw <laughs> cut down on your plastic use cut down on your fish use fish consumption okay and we can save the turtles together. So that's the tea on my turtle figurine. We're down to four. So this is really exciting. I have four more to go. These two are, I kind of consider them to be in the same category. They're not really, but first up is this little, um, okay. <laughs> I think he's supposed to be an alligator, but he has kind of like a mouse Geronimo Stilton vibe to him. Um, this is not working, but he's really cute. He's actually one of the first ones I bought. I bought my first three all together, and he was part of that pack. And so I have like a special connection to him because he's the OG. He's been here since the beginning. He's just an alligator. And maybe he's not even, now that I'm looking at him, he doesn't look like an alligator, um, cause he's like sitting. So maybe it's supposed to be a mouse, but then if he's a mouse, why is he green? Why is he green like that? Um, if you think you know what this is, comment below, is it an alligator or a mouse? So comment, we'll have a little poll and we'll, I don't know, the jury's out on this guy. And you will help decide the verdict. So, anyway, moving on. We have. I'm gonna redo that. <laughs> the jury's out on this guy, and you will decide the verdict. And make sure to let me know what kind of animal you think he is. <laughs> Fun quiz time. Next up, we have this dinosaur. I got this dinosaur at the Seaside Aquarium in Oregon. Um, they have, like, glass animals in their shop, their gift shop. And I saw this dinosaur and I just fell in love with him. I am fascinated by dinosaurs. I want to learn a lot more about their history. I'm taking um, a dinosaur's class in my school. At least I'm trying to get into it right now, and I don't know. I just really like him. He's a little stegosaurus, and he's green. He's got, oh, gone. <laughs> okay. He's, like, green on top, and then he's got, like, dark green scales and legs. And I just think he's so cute, and he goes so well in my collection. He really compliments all the other animals. It's nice to have, like, pops of green in there, and he just really adds to the vibe of my collection, so... I love him for that. Okay. <laughs> um, next up, we have this rooster. There we go. We have a rooster, everyone. Um, there's a little bit of a story behind this one. So, I got this one at the pharmacy in my little town. It's downtown. And they had him. And I felt called to him because just a little story for y'all. Um <coughs> We used to have chickens in our backyard when I think I was like 9 or 10. 
and the day we got them, I, we went to like the country store and we each, each member of our family, we have four of us, we each got to pick out a chicken and I picked out this one and I named her Ursula. Well, as she kind of grew up, she started growing like blue and green feathers and I was like that's kind of strange like hens aren't supposed to grow blue and green feathers at least not this breed and in my neighborhood we're allowed to have hens but we're not allowed to have roosters <laughs> and so one day I woke up and Ursula was just crowing away back there and so it was really sad but the day had to come when we had to give poor Ursula away um we posted her on Craigslist for free. We posted him on Craigslist for free. And this, like, animal rescue lady came and got it from us. Bye-bye, so. Ursula. I hope he was, did well. I hope he had a good rest of his life. I never saw or heard from him again. <laughs> but that's okay. Sometimes life just deals you a rooster that's supposed to be a hen. And you just gotta go with it. So, and then I saw this one, I was like... I have to get it in memory of my, my chicken, my Ursula, so, that's that one. <coughs> oh my gosh, we're down to the last one. Um, I absolutely am obsessed with this one. He was another one that I got, like, the three I got at once, he was another one. <coughs> and, I love him, he's the smallest one I own. He's this little tiny like mouse. <laughs> um, he's clear and he has red ears and little orange hands and black eyes. And I am very connected and attached to him because I lost him for like a year and I couldn't find him anywhere. And then one day I was cleaning my room and he was just there on the floor. And so I'm like, well, it's a miracle. I found you once since you're this tiny. I'm never letting you out of my sight again. So <laughs> I'm very attached to this one. I keep it very close to me at all times, and I hope I never lose it. I'm taking it with me whenever I move out, <laughs> and yeah, so that's my gross animal collection. Um, it's actually not a lot. I thought I kind of had more than I actually do after going through all these, but I'm always adding more, and maybe I'll keep you guys updated if I get more soon and I hope you enjoyed I don't know if it was very like in depth because I'm not a big part of like the glass figuring community so I don't know what you guys are into as far as collection <laughs> videos <laughs> but <coughs> this is my first video on my new channel my new chan chan um starting a youtube channel is actually on my summer bucket list so <laughs> Um, I can't really say what it's going to be about yet. I really have no idea. There's a lot of stuff I want to talk about. Everything from veganism to mutual funds to coffee reviews. <laughs> I have a lot of ideas of what I want to do, but this was kind of just felt like it would be a good first video for me. So I hope you guys liked it. Um, subscribe and comment oh i didn't mean to flip you up subscribe and comment subscribe and comment hose and with that this is mayor hopkins signing off bye y'all <laughs>